Today we're gonna be taking a look at the M1917 Browning machine gun coming to Battlefield 1 as the new support weapon with Turning Tides DLC. Is it balanced? Or maybe it's overpowered and will become the next god gun of Battlefield 1? Well, the simple answer for that is that weapon is completely fine. It is not overpowered and it is nowhere near being as good as the Parabellum is. And why am I referring to the Parabellum if we have so many great LMGs to choose from? Well, I decided to pick this weapon because when the previous DLC came out, and that being in the name of the Tsar, people were concerned that Parabellum is overpowered, it favors premium players and the game will become unbalanced in general. Of course none of that happened, but people were still complaining. As always. But don't get me wrong guys, if I'm saying that this weapon isn't as good as the Parabellum is, it doesn't automatically make the weapon bad. As a matter of fact, I think that it's actually better than most LMGs from the vanilla game. Even though it only offers 450 rate of fire, it still has this insanely big magazine. 250 bullets guys, that's just crazy. Trust me, if you ever play with this weapon, you will never need to reload in a moment where you don't want to do it. Imagine that you are fighting 5 enemies at once, you kill 4 of them and you need to reload before killing the last one. Well, not with this LMG. Of course that being if you have decent accuracy, but let's be real. If we divide 250 bullet magazine into 5 parts to kill each enemy with the same amount of bullets, you are still left with 50 bullets per one enemy. It's just impossible to miss that many shots. Alright, I know it's not entirely impossible, because I've seen IGN reporters playing this game and this was just mind-blowing how bad they are, but in general, for the most players, and that being you guys, missing 50 bullets in a row isn't a thing. If you never played with this weapon, because either you don't have access to CT, or maybe you don't want to ruin the surprise for yourself, but you are still wondering how does it feel to play with it. Essentially, it's like using the Perino on steroids and it's very pleasing to do. Especially if you deploy bipod and start shooting planes with it. Believe me guys, AAs in 2018 will become cliché and everyone wanting to take down planes will just grab Browning LMG instead. It's kind of obvious, why would you go for the stationary AA if you can take one with yourself anywhere you go? And just so I'm clear guys, I'm not kidding now. If you squad up with the teammate and you use two Brownings at the same time, you can literally take out a full health bomber in a couple of seconds. Always go for the wings first, because once you disable those, they will not be able to escape anymore, which equals free kills for you and massive amount of points. Overall, as I said at the beginning, the weapon is not overpowered, it is completely fine, it is balanced, it's not too easy to use, it may seem like it, if you watch someone else playing with it. I've already explained this in my Will the Feather of Aftermath be overpowered video, but I will allow myself to repeat this one more time. Here is the thing guys, if you watch someone else playing with the weapon, those are generally YouTubers or streamers, and they are YouTubers and streamers for a reason. They know how to play this game. I'm not saying all of them are godlike players, but most of them are at least decent and they know how to play the game properly. If you combine all of their skill factors together, and on top of that you are just sitting and watching their video, not having to pay attention to every detail going on on the battlefield, it just makes all of the things you are watching in their gameplay a lot easier to accomplish because you are just watching it. And if you watch YouTubers, there is a whole another thing here as well. Most of them cut their videos. You don't know how good they are, because they could have been playing for 5 hours and only show you 5 minutes of that. Some of the Battlefield YouTubers even use jump cuts to prevent viewers from seeing that they died between scoring 2 kills and that they are bad. I know you are not noticing all of this while watching the video, and it's totally understandable, because in theory you are not supposed to be noticing it as a viewer, but just keep it in mind that this stuff exists, and those techniques are used by every single YouTuber out there. Anyway guys, that would be it for the Browning LMG, remember that this video was not a proper review, I will make a separate video reviewing the weapon once I play with it a little bit longer. 
so stay tuned for that. Remember that if you want to get more Battlefield 1 updates, you can get them on my Twitter, which is both linked in the description, plus you can see it on the screen right now. And as always guys, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I see you on the Battlefield!